G'day guys, welcome back to the farm on Farming Simulator 22. It's now October. There's nothing in the sales for us, but October means harvesting time. So we've got the sunflowers to harvest. We've got nearly a full pile of wool there. So that's not really happening fast enough. We've got all the honey there. So we're coming into the time where we're going to sell all our products. We've got all of this canola oil here. A little bit left to be produced. And we've got no clo not really much clothing happening. The sheep are just a little bit slow. So we've got the sunflowers that we need to harvest today. We're here set up already to do the olives. As you can see, that is all fully fertilized and ready to harvest. So we should be able to hopefully get a good yield. That tractor would be all right, but not really what I'm after. So the olive harvester, we are going to rent this for the day. Fifteen and a half thousand, jeez. Well, that is quite a bit. We're only going to need it for about half an hour. So hopefully we're going to make some money back out of that, off the olives when it turns into its oil. So here we are, in the harvester. Funky looking machine. <laughs> the trees go through there and they get shaken off. And then it picks up the olives. <laughs> a weird thing to drive. But we'll drive on up to the olive grove and we'll start the harvest and we'll see how how well that's going to work for us. Well, here we are, ready to do the harvest. So we'll turn it on and we just got to drive up and down and make sure that the trees are in the middle. These trees on the edge of the field are not really going to help us out that much. So let's get it started up, drive on in, hopefully that's going to be working for us, and it looks to be working. We are filling up a little bit, actually quite quickly there, so that might be alright. I'm not sure how much we're actually going to get out of this field, or this olive grove, but um, it's a trial and error thing, and we can always extend the olive grove a little bit out to our left here, as far as we can. I think we're going to have to because uh, we, if we've got to lease this thing for 15,000 every season, we're, we're going to need to be making a little bit more cash. So we're just over, we're just under 500 litres per row. So we should get a few thousand litres out of this, but it's probably not going to be anywhere near what I was hoping. But that's all right. It's our first time doing it, so let's just bear with it and if we take a loss it's not really the end of the world we've got some money and we've got plenty coming in throughout the winter with all the products that we're going to sell so from the inside a little bit tricky to line it up we just hit a tree there and you kind of got to have that orange lever lined up with the bush of the tree so that's a little bit dodgy. I think I prefer the third person view. So we'll get this done and we'll see what we're ending up with and hopefully we're gonna not make too much of a loss. I don't mind making a little bit of a loss but hopefully it's not gonna be the full 15,000.
All right, we're nearly done. So we have only used this machine for 0 0.2 hours. So what's that, 12 minutes? <laughs> uh, I've got stuck here. A little bit tricky to actually drive it properly, especially in the cab view. I can't really work out where the tree needs to be that well. Certainly the third person is much better. So we've got a little bit in the trailer. It's not a massive amount and we don't have much that we're going to get from this last run here either. But it's all good. We're doing something new on the farm so let's just try and improve on it for the next season. So we can tip this into our trailer and then we can just pretty much return this machine straight away and that is $15,000 used. But whatever we have here will go into the production that will get turned into some oil and I believe that the canola oil is no, not the, the olive oil is the most valuable the most expensive one so should make some money back just not sure how much like I said they're not really worried about making a loss here it's all about doing new things on the farm eventually it will become profitable of course so we've got just over four and a half thousand liters in the trailer so let's have a look and see what's what is it worth so we get two olives to one oil so we're pretty much only going to get two pallets of oil out of what we have and we'll have a little bit left over so the next year it will be topped up a little bit and olive oil on a good day we're looking at around about 2,800. So we're looking at pretty much of a loss of around about $10,000 for the olives. But we're going to have to improve on that for the next year for sure. Well, here we are. We're up at the production farm, I suppose I call it. Production area. It's where we're going to put all of our production buildings. We'll just tip the olives into here and that can get fired up won't take very long to produce those they'll be finished by the mo tomorrow <laughs> the next month but they won't be ready to sell until June so that's okay we can just keep them to one side and not really gonna make a lot of money out of them so I don't know if I will sell them or just keep them until the next big harvest of olives we'll just have to see how it goes because it's not really we're not going to make much money out of it so if we need it we will if we don't then we'll just leave it till the next season but now we need to get over we're going to go ahead and get onto the sunflower harvest so the sunflowers so let's get harvesting we'll do most of it ourselves or some of it ourselves we'll do all the tricky pieces as in the top and the bottom edge certainly the bottom right hand corner over there is very tricky for a worker so we'll do most of that and we have a new mod on the game. It's not new out, but it's new on for me. And it is to collect more straw. So you can see we are dropping little bits of straw. It's not as much as I was thinking we were gonna be getting, but it is a little bit. And every little bit helps. We do need straw. We produce quite a bit from the wheat field, more than enough for the cows, but we can also just gather up this stuff and sell it straight away so there's going to be I don't know how many bales we might get off this field but it might be five to ten thousand dollars so that will cover the loss of the olive harvester for us so certainly a mod worth having I've also got the mod to pick up bales from a contracting jobs I don't do many contracts but we will after this episode I'm gonna go ahead and probably do a couple of years just try and push through and save up around about half a million dollars so that we can really purchase a nice big new field or new productions or a new tractor I'm not really sure what we're gonna spend that money on probably a grapevine because we want to get into the grape industry as well and hopefully another big field so there's definitely money that needs to be earned but we're just not getting there quick enough and there's no point in me having the same three or four episodes on repeat so I'll go get busy and I'll do that but for now just keep on the harvest 
Well, just shy of a full lap of the field, and we've got a full tank in the harvester, so I don't think we're going to make it to the end. Not quite that lucky, are we? It's going to be close. We're just shy. Well, that's all right. So we can unload now into the trailer, and I could probably set this off on a worker, the harvester that is. And then I'm going to need to bring over the baler and the windrower and the telehandler with a trailer to shift all the bales that we produce. So I'll be doing the wind rowing and the baling and the harvester can just continue doing its thing. So while that unloads we'll go and grab ourselves the wind rower and hopefully we're going to end up with quite a few bales of straw from the field and I'm going to take them straight away and sell them. Could wait until December or January I think it might be for a good price but anything that we get is just extra money isn't it so there's no point storing it for a couple of months we might as well just get on with it and we'll hook up to the windrower and we'll have to come back down for the baler and then we'll bring the telehandler up as well so it should be a good one Well, here we are up at the oil mill with the first trailer load. Not quite a full trailer load, but there's not enough room to wait for him in the harvester to get a full load. Otherwise, he'll be 80% full by the time we put that into trailer. So we might as well just tip what's here. And that is quite, quite a large amount of sunflower into the factory. Nearly 20,000-ish. So let's get that hooked up. Get that turned on and this olive oil might as well be turned on as well it's not going to do much but uh, may as well canola oil is pretty much ready to be sold i think and then the sunflowers we sell around march but we've got to get back over to the field because there's still heaps to do and it's getting late well that's the last of the the sunflowers, as you can see, we've got some weeds in this corner of the field. I accidentally went and slept a day while the worker was halfway or three quarters of the way through doing the weeding. And we didn't have enough money to go and hire a weed sprayer. So we just have to live with a little bit less yield. That's what happens when you've got weed in the field. You don't get as much out of it as you should. So it's very important to do the weeding and I just totally forgot that there was a guy doing it. Well that's the harvest done. Still plenty of straw to pick up as you can see and the harvester needs a good clean and a bit of gas. The trailer could do with a wash as well so we'll have to sort that out but there's heaps more work to do on this field but it is getting late so I'm gonna go and do that probably a little bit later on probably won't record it because it's going to take <laughs> a long time and it's not really that exciting but we should get a few bales off this field it's already produced quite a few and there's plenty more straw to pick up so a little bit of cash to come in from that that should hopefully bump us back up to the 20,000 mark that'll be good if it does so we'll leave the 
harvester parked up here. Go and tip the last of this into the oil factory. And then we can sort of think about the next day or two what we're going to need to do. Okay, so we're up here tipping the last few thousand litres of the sunflowers. So we do get a little bit less than what we normally do, and that's because of those weeds. So not great, but still no big deal. Doesn't really matter that much. Financially, well, we're not doing great at the moment. We are losing little bits of money here and there, but obviously we're coming up to the time to sell. So we are going to have some cash after the winter, probably over 100,000. So I've been doing a few contracts here and there little bits selling some bales and whatnot wages as you can see wages is just a huge cost so lucky these guys getting all that money taking my cash not really a big fan of it but we have to use the workers so there's plenty of money to be earning we just need to go out there and get it I want to try and earn ourselves about half a million before we really think about proceeding any further so hopefully you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm going to go off. I'm going to do probably a couple of years on the farm here. I'll get some money up behind us. And by the time we come back, we're hopefully going to buy ourselves a new field and get into the grapes. And we'll see where we stand at that point there. So I'll see you next time.